بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته my dear students in grade 9 today inshallah we will have a new session about chapter 11 from uh, a tale of two cities by Charles Dickens for grade 9 second term 2022 the title of the chapter is The Revolution Erupts. Let's start, my dear students, with the summary of the chapter. The angry people reached the boiling point. On the 14th of July, 1789, the French Revolution broke out in Saint Antoine. The center of the revolution was Devarge's wine shop. Devarge and his wife were leading the poor, angry people. The people of Saint Antoine were armed with whatever their hands reached knives, axes, and stones. Madame Devarge, with an axe and a pistol in her hands, cried out, I will lead the women. We will kill as well as men can. This reveals the uh, strong character of that woman. This reveals about the strong character of this woman. The pastille is seized by the people. And nas istawlet ala sign al pastille. The roaring angry people led by Madame and Monsieur Divorge marched towards the pastille. The pastille was destroyed and taken by the angry mob. The prisoners were freed. Monsieur Divorge was curious to see the secret cell 105 North Tower where Dr. Manette was locked up for 18 years. There, Devarge found a packet of papers that belonged to the doctors. In these papers, the doctor used to write his memories. The doctor reads to write something about the, his days while he was in prison. He wanted to write before he uh, uh, went mad. The streets where the wine cask had once stained with the red color were stained again, this time with real blood. The pastel wasn't the only place that fell under the control of the angry people. Many other prison, per, prisons and places throughout France were attacked and burned, and among them was the Chateau of Marquis of, of Evermont. Now let's see questions and answers. Question number one. What did Madame de Vange do when the pastel was taken? When the pastel was taken, de Vange forced the guards to show him the secret cell 105 North Tower, where Mr. Where Dr. Manet was imprisoned in that uh, uh, cell. Dr. Manet was once imprisoned, or uh, he spent about 18 years in that cell. He found some papers that belonged to Dr. Manet in the chimney of the cell. How were the angry people armed? They carried loaded muskets, iron and wooden bars, knives and axes, axes, and even stones from walls and streets. What part did Mr. Monsieur and Madame de Vange play in the revolution? Mr. Monsieur and Madame Devarge fi al 
The center of the revolution was the Varges wine shop. Monsieur de Varge was giving out weapons and orders. He and his wife, Madame de Varge, led the people to the pastel to destroy it and free the prisoners. What did the Jacks do? And the Jacks was the nickname that was given to the revolutionists. Do when they seized the pastel, they freed the prisoners, seized the records, and destroyed the instruments of torture. Show me 105 North Tower, quick, comment. Monsieur Devar said that said this to one of the prison, person, prison guards. He was curious to see the secret cell where Dr. Manette was locked up for 18 years. There, Devarge found a packet of papers that belonged to the doctor. And we see that they will use these papers later to uh, uh, accuse Charles Darney, okay. Um, describe, not question number six, describe the cell where Dr. Manette was locked up in for 18 years. It was a small dirty room that contained a stool, a table, and a straw bed. The walls were black with soot and a pile of ashes lay on the fireplace. There was a single tiny window high up in one of the walls with heavy iron bars across it. Question number seven. What did the angry mob do to the soldiers? They grabbed the soldiers, the guard and the guards and killed them by beating shooting and knifing. What happened to the castle of the Marquis of St. Evermont? It was at attacked by the angry mob and burned. Question number nine. What changes were there in the villages of France? Of course, there were some changes that happened to the society of France and Paris and the villages around it uh, after the revolution uh, had erupted. So here the question is talking about these changes. What changes were there in the villages of France? The people were no longer oppressed and afraid. Poor people were led by the jacks to destroy the palaces of the noblemen and kill them. The last question, speak about the revolution and the place where it began. The, the revolution began in Saint Antoine. The center of the events was the wine shop of Mr. Devarge. The people were like the raging sea, shouting and roaring madly and carrying anything which would serve as a weapon. Monsieur de Varge was giving orders and weapons to the jacks. The people went to the pastel and set it on fire. The soldiers and guards were killed and the prisoners were set free. And now my dear students, let's see part of the movie that uh, supported that chapter and it tells you about what happened during the revolution. Let's see. Friends, patriots, countrymen, are we ready? to turn back again. To the Bastille! Will you go with me, wife? I go at the head of the women. To the Bastille! To the Bastille!
team out of gear. Oh, attack, passing, that pass team, and the center and the third goes on. Kicking behind the left back, as well as the Monsieur, Monsieur le Governor, may I please, I beg you, may I have the honor? Thank you, Monsieur. At last. It has come at last. It is only the beginning. They were not aware of what was happening outside in the camp of Saint Antoine. So they will be surprised to see the marks As you have seen, my dear students, the scene from the movie that registered the uh, attacking of the pastel, and as I told you before, that the French Revolution was considered as one of the most bloody revolution all over the history of the world. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you for being with me. Till we meet again, chapter 12, I wish you a good time. Thank you.